Hey everyone, Justin here with the SketchUp Essentials. It's time for another monthly update on what I'm working on and what's coming up in the next month. There's a lot going on behind the scenes right now, and um, I'm really working to help continuing to bring gray SketchUp resources to the table. So first off, super excited to announce that the Landscape Essentials um, section of my course is now done. So this was a massive effort, and I'm super proud of the way that it came out. So if you want to learn about how to create landscapes and gardens in SketchUp, as well as doing civil modeling, um, creating great looking plans, that kind of thing. Um, you can learn about all of that in that section of the course. You can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash landscapes. Okay, so next up, my getting started in SketchUp 2025 series is about to kick off. At the moment, that's pretty much through the pre-planning series, and I'm going to start filming and releasing videos this week. So currently, I'd put the progress on that at about 25%. There's still a lot of filming and editing that needs to be done in that series series. But stay tuned for more updates on that series. So work on the example kitchen model for students in my course stalled out a little bit. The model is pretty much 100% done. That's going to be something where students can actually download it, kind of reverse engineer it, see how the model was created, how the layout file was created, that kind of thing. That's going to be an excellent resource for students in the course. I'd put that at about 75%. So haven't made a whole lot of progress on that. I just need to go through and finish working on the layout portion of that so that you've got a great example not only of a great model but also of plans and how to set them up in a way where you can create really great looking visuals and documents out of a 3d model so um, my goal is to finish that up in the next month so students have that as a resource next sketchup 2025 videos so um, that video series has been all about focusing on the new features contained inside of sketchup 2025 um, i think that's been a great series and there's really some cool stuff that came out in that uh in in that new release um, but I am working on a couple more videos in that series just so that we can make sure that we've really kind of dove deep into the new features and what you can do with SketchUp 2025. I'd put that at about 80% complete. There's a couple more videos coming up in that series and I'd like to get them wrapped up this month. All right, and then finally, I'm going to be doing a rendering in SketchUp 2025 workshop. So in that workshop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about everything you need to know to start creating renders in SketchUp 2025. And there are things you need to know. So this is going to focus on what kind of renderings you can create in SketchUp 2025, exactly how to set those renderings up to get the best results, and also the kind of renderings that maybe you want to take to another engine instead. So obviously this is a brand new feature in SketchUp, and this workshop is going to teach you how to get the best out of that render engine. So um, that's probably about 25% right now. I'm currently in the middle of the pre-planning stage of getting that ready and up and running, but I'm excited to talk about the new versions, rendering capabilities, and how to get some great results out of it. Okay, so that's what I'm working on in April. There's other things that are going on behind the scenes as well, but those are probably the big projects. So if you do want to come learn SketchUp with me, there's a lot of stuff going on in the course. Um, I've got a live call with students later on tonight. So you can do that at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. But if there are other things you'd like to see um, in April, feel free to leave a comment down below and I may be able to incorporate them into my schedule. It's getting pretty busy, but I may be able to slip one or two things in. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.